Well, believe it or not, it is almost mid-May. And here we got snow. That's what Colorado's all about. So let's use the weather that we've got today to talk through a question of what's the best roofing material for snow, especially in Colorado's cold, snowy climate. Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing. Welcome to another Walk in the Park video where we take just a few minutes to answer questions about roof repairs, roof replacements, and the insurance claim process. By now, you probably have a question. How did the roofer get a black eye? Well, if you really want to know, you can take two minutes and watch the video right up here where I explain the whole story. Anyway, today we're going to talk about what is the best roofing material for snow. Here in Colorado, not too many people worry about what kind of roof should they put on with the consideration of consistent 100 degree weather like Phoenix. Here we have to worry about our cold, freezing, wintry, snowy weather. So let's talk this one through. So I would say in my opinion, there's probably not a specific roofing material that, that people think of when they think of snow load or how do we get rid of snow at least down here in a city. Now up in the mountains where <laughs> the snow is measured in feet instead of inches, well that's a little bit different. People up there do take that into consideration. What type of roofing material should I put on my house to deal with the fact that I'm gonna have so much snow on the, on the roof? So we're gonna talk about really four different types of roofing material and you know, not so much how they perform under a snow load, but just the pros and cons of each roofing type in relationship to having snow on it. Let's talk about the, the first one. The most obvious one is metal, metal panels. And the reason that that's the most obvious is because if you travel up into mountain towns, uh, mountain areas, especially where there's a lot of snow, that's what you're gonna see primarily is metal panel roof, either standing seam, or just like a, a pro panel or an R panel, sometimes called an agricultural panel. And you see that type of roofing material in mountainous areas, uh, mostly because the snow tends to just slide right off of it. You know, the metal is smooth. There's not gonna be any friction. There's not gonna be anything that's holding the snow on there. So as the, uh, as the, the metal is warming up, both from ambient heat above and the heat coming from the house up underneath, then those metal panels are going to warm and cause that snow that, that is in contact with the metal to melt. And then the whole thing can tend to just slide right off. So that's a good thing, right? I mean, why wouldn't you want a roof system that enables all of the snow to come off of your roof? Well, there's a, okay, that's an advantage. There's a pro. Here's the con to that. It's really difficult to have gutters on a metal roof especially if the metal roof has a high pitch to it because that snow is going to come sliding off at a pretty decent speed and can take the gutter with it so what do you have to do well you typically will need to put snow blocks uh, down toward the eave right above the gutter to slow down that snow so as it's sliding off it's going to hit those snow blocks and slow down so it doesn't rip your gutter off the other thing that people do is not put gutters on their house. That may or may not work out for you. It's not really recommended because then all of that moisture is coming off the roof and falling down next to your foundation and it can cause problems with, you, with your foundation, especially during freeze and thaw periods, it can undermine the foundation. And so that's why you have gutters is to get that water away from the foundation of your house. So that's one of the major disadvantages to a metal roof with snow sitting on it. There is another type of metal roof and that is metal tiles um, or essentially a metal shingle. And those are made to uh, look like either slate or wood shake and oftentimes they're stone coated. So similarly to an asphalt shingle that has all the grit on it, well, these metal tiles also 
have the stone grit applied to the surface of it. Therefore, in my opinion, those act just like an asphalt shingle when there's snow sitting on it because all of that, uh, all of those granules are providing friction and adhesion and preventing the snow from sliding off. So that's definitely a benefit over the smooth metal panel roof. However, since it's not behaving in a way that's really different from an asphalt shingle, you're not getting the benefit of getting the snow off of your roof like you would with a smooth metal panel. Well, there are some definite advantages to the metal tiles and that's, they're really cool looking. They're very decorative. They look great on showcase homes, but the problem is you're paying for that decorative look. It's, it's a luxury product. So it's going to be way more expensive than asphalt shingle. It's going to be way more expensive even than the metal panels. So that's a definite downside. A plus side is they're super light and they install pretty easily. And so you're, you don't have the same weight factor of the metal tile as you would even with an asphalt shingle. They're about, sometimes about only a third of the weight even of an asphalt shingle. Another product that's popular here in Colorado, especially in showcase neighborhoods, again, is concrete tile or also clay tile. So you can have a tile a concrete or clay tile that is flat. You can have it that's textured so that it uh, resembles a wood shake. You can also get it, you know, in a barrel shape. Let's talk about the flat tiles primarily because that's mostly what we see here in Colorado. Even though a concrete tile is smooth, it still has some, some adhesive factor so that the snow tends to stick to it. Now, again, if it's a high pitch roof, the snow is going to come off, doesn't matter what kind of material is up there. But if it's a standard pitch roof, the snow is going to sit up there on that concrete tile definitely longer than it would on a metal panel. So now you have the weight of the tile plus the weight of any snow that's sitting up there. In my view, that's a, that's a big disadvantage. In my opinion, there are two other disadvantages to the concrete tile. One is the cost. It's very expensive. The other major disadvantage to the concrete tile is the fact that while technically it's a water barrier, right? If it's installed correctly, the water is going to sheet off of one tile over the next tile over the next tile progressively as it goes down the roof. However, everywhere that you have an intersection, whether it's a valley or a wall abutment or a penetration, anything like that, you are relying primarily on the underlayment. Whatever it is that's laid down under the tiles on top of the wood deck, that is your primary water barrier on tile roof. So we get called out on leaks on tile roofs, not infrequently. It's, fair, it's a fairly common problem because over time, as that underlayment starts to break down, now, since water is going underneath the tiles, then if the underlayment is gone, water is going to come in the house. So that brings us to the last roofing material that we're going to talk about, and that's asphalt shingles. Now I know that, especially up in a mountain town, they get a lot of snow up there. People don't like asphalt shingles because they tend to hold the snow. And I'll concede that. That's obviously true. However, the snow does tend to melt. It does come off, not as quickly as it does with a, a metal panel, but that's actually, in my view, an advantage. That way you don't have huge sheets of snow sliding off the roof. Still a good idea to put snow blocks on? Sure, I would. Is it going to rip off your gutters as it comes off the roof on an asphalt shingle? Probably not because it's coming off a lot slower. So there's a few other things that cause me to favor asphalt shingle roofs over metal panels. Number one is cost. Metal panels are more expensive. Asphalt shingles don't cost as much. Number two is if there's a hailstorm in your area that's that has hail big enough to dent your metal roof, your roof's going to look like a golf ball until you get it fixed. That same hail will damage an asphalt shingle 
but in most cases, the damage isn't going to be visible from the street or even from the front of the house. Well, there's one other thing that causes me to favor asphalt shingles, and that is just how easy it is to find leaks and fix leaks. Asphalt shingles are pretty easy. If you find the leak area, which normally is not very hard, very easy to fix a leak on an asphalt shingle roof, and the cost is lower because it's easier. Again, I want to clarify that this is merely my opinion. If you have any questions about this, please give us a call at our office right up here, 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of information out there, lots of other videos, blog articles, full of education for you. If you like this video and it's been helpful for you, please give us the big thumbs up. Also, if it's got helpful information, you think somebody else would benefit from this, please send it along, share it with somebody. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you've got questions, we read and respond to all questions that we get on our videos. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. And until our next Walk in the Park video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.